Welcome back. In the last topic, we discussed about conditional statements. We also saw different conditional statements that you can use in the programming to solve business problems. Now here we are going to do certain things and so on. What I would recommend is in the same Google Collapse, I would suggest you to create a new notebook, conditional statements and loops, and let's start coding from there. I'll start with simple if statement. Remember the examples that we discussed in our PowerPoint presentation. We are going to use the same examples and we are going to execute them in Python and see how the results are coming out. I'm just assuming that marks is 80. I'm assigning the value 80 to marks and then I'm checking with the help of simple if statement. If marks is greater than 50, I'm going to print that the student has passed the exam. Now, if I execute this, what do you think the result is going to be? The result is the student has passed the exam because the marks carries the value 80 and 80 is greater than 50, which returns true Boolean. And if the condition is true, then it prints or executes the code that has been given there. This is how if statement works. Now let's move on to if else statement. I told you, if you want to have an alternate logic to be defined, if the Boolean condition is false, then you go for if else statement. So we are saying that if marks is less than 50, print, the student has failed the exam. If the mark is greater than 50, I want this to be printed that the student has passed the exam. Now this is if else business logic. So I've written it with certain blocks for either conditions. Now we know that marks as 80, 80 is greater than 50. So we are expecting the first block to be executed since the condition is true. So here the student has passed the exam has been rightly executed because the condition is false. The marks is not less than 50. So the condition is false. So automatically the alternate block is executed here. Now moving on, the third one that we studied in the last topic was if, elif, else statement. It's more like multiple if else conditions. How can you code it? Let me show you how it is done. A is equal to 200, B is equal to 33. I'm assigning these values. And then I'm checking if B is greater than A, if 33 is greater than 200. That is not the case. So automatically the next block gets executed. But before that, let's check the block that will be executed if this condition is true. If B is greater than A, I want this to be printed that B is greater than A. Else, if A is equal to equal to B, that is if A and B are equal, then print that A and B are equal. If that is not the case, print A is greater than B. Now we know A is 200, B is 33. So A is greater than B. That's what is going to be executed. But look at the three lines of code or three blocks of code that we have written. The third block is getting executed here because of the conditions that the code has checked. The first condition has failed. The second condition has failed and it has got to the third condition and that's where the code is getting executed. So when I execute this, I'm expecting this to be printed A is greater than B. I hope you have understood how this if, elif and else statements work. Now let me try one more example for this because this is slightly complicated compared to the traditional if else statements. Max marks is 40, English marks is 30. I want to check the max marks and English marks and then I want to print certain conditions. Like if max marks is greater than 50, I am asking the computer to print, please check the marks for max subject. If max marks is greater than 50 and if the condition returned is false, that is a Boolean response is false, then it comes to elif marks that is else if marks English is greater than 50. If this is true, then it's going to print 
please check the marks for English subject. Now it is very clear how the code is being written. If I execute this, what do you think the output will be? The output is marks entered are valid. The total score is 70. 30 plus 40 as it is expected. The third block has got executed and it's printing the paths. So two, three learnings from this one. One, you have understood how the multiple if else statements can be executed, especially using if, elif and else. The second part is you can also see that when you're executing the print statement, you're also using or calculating certain things directly like max marks plus English marks are able to sum it up and then you're able to print that. This is something new that you are learning now. Please keep this in mind. Now, having said this, I'm moving on to nested if else statement. So nested if else is the same objective as above. Whatever we achieved with the help of if elif, I can achieve the same by using nested if else statements. That is cascaded if else statements. If the condition is true, then another condition, then another condition. So I am bringing everything into a nested format. So check this one. If max max is greater than 50, print this else. Just put across another if condition where you say that if marks is marks of English is greater than 50, print this else this. Now, when I execute this, the same output is going to come up. Marks entered are valid. The total score is 70. But I have written it slightly differently with nested if else. By the way, these are all options that are available for you. You have the complete liberty to choose depending on what you would like to code and how you would like to code it. But please understand, there are different options available here. So it is completely at your, at your liberty to do this. So feel free to choose the right one and execute this.